Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be talking about ramp details. And I'll just show you on a plan where these ramp details are. So if I go to this plan here, so <coughs> ramps usually happen where there's a change in construction. So on this site here, this one we've been working on, it goes from a traditional construction here, which is just tarmac road, flexible construction, and it changes to a block paved construction, a muse court construction over here. And in between here, these two lines represent a ramp, which is usually two meters, and the road ramps up to this level here, and it changes construction in between here. So in this video today, I'm just going to talk about how you set this out correctly and I'll just work through the steps I, I use to set this out. So I'll just show you how it looks like in section. So if we come to his road, road construction detail drawing, went through this in the last video, how he can work out the, the traveller and the dips for a traditional construction. It's the same thing for Muse, Muse Road. So it changes from this type of construction to this kind of construction. So it changed from tarmac to block paved. And this is just a cross section of a ramp detail. So as you can see, it's got your traditional construction down here and it ramps up in block paving to use court construction. And this can be quite tricky to set out because what's happening to the curb brace, let's get rid of that. What's happening to the curb brace in this point, it can be quite tricky to set out. So what we do in practice is rather than forming it as a slope, we continue the lower curb brace along and step up however much we need to to get this to the right level so we come along flat and step up and follow along we don't form the slope and uh, I'll just show you another this is another site I've been working on I'll just show you how many ramps that can actually be on a site so you come in traditional construction as you can see from the hatching it changes to block pave there's three ramps here there's another ramp there if we go along here another ramp there another ramp there another ramp there no ramp there, but absolutely loads of ramps. So this is something you need to get your head around quite early on, and it's something I struggled with when I first started. But anyway, I'll show you how I, I'll just show you how I work through it. So what I like to do is, like in the last video, I just like to draw out the cross section detail. I just like to match them up. So I'll just go over to the CAD drawing. So in this last video, there's road info. Yeah, so in the last video, I'll show you how you can work out a traveller like this, so you can work out your dips like this, so all we need to do is we've drawn the traditional construction and we've drawn the muse court construction and it's just how these two interact together so the easiest way I find to do this is just to draw them out both to scale this is just one construction, 60 block paving, 35 sand, 50 binder, 340 type 1 and I just like to copy these both over and put them next to each other and we can see so I'll just copy the Muse Court over. Copy. Just copy it from that point now. Turn it off or off. So I'll just bring it up to here where I've got some space. Enter. I'll copy this one over. I'll just put that in there. Enter. I'll delete off all the dimensions, don't need them. They offer dimensions. Don't need them. Okay, so a thing to note about a ramp detail is the top of curb should always be the same. And this is true if we just go to look at road construction detail. So it might be hard to tell. Well, you can't really tell this is cross section. These aren't curbs, these are channel blocks. But if you just if you just think about it, these levels of the top of the curb will always be the same otherwise you just be tripping over it so everything wants to be set out from the top of curb in this situation so what I like to do is I'll just make a new layer new layer let's call that top of curb make that current make it a bright colour magenta and then I just like to draw a line on the top of this curb, make sure off is on. By the way, turn off on so we're drawing in straight lines. 
top of curb, and I just like to just draw that along. Might make that dashed. Okay, and now we just need to pick this one up, as we can see it's a bit low, just pick this up so this top top of this curb is touching top of this line. Then we know it's set to the right to the right level. So move. Pick that point there. Just do it so it's touching there. Yep. Okay now I might just move that one in a bit more actually. It's a bit far away. Move that. Pick that point now. I'm just gonna just move it along to save save there. Okay, so instead of the curb brace going like this, say instead of the curb brace going like that, let's draw another line on there so you can see what I mean. Turn it off or off. So the, so the curb brace won't go like this and the road construction won't go like like the way it's going. Like it won't match up like that. We're not forming an actual ramp. We're gonna form a step. Because at the end of the day, when the block paper comes on and it's final touches, getting the street scene ready, they'll form a ramp. And they will form the right transition curb in between. So what we really wanna know is how much this steps up by. And this is quite simple to work out. So all I all I do is I just project the line of the bottom of this curb brace along. So I'll make sure it all falls on. So I project that over to there. Make it snap to perpendicular point. So that's the bottom of this curb brace. I'll just project the top of this curb brace along as well. So I'll just copy that up. Just copy that. Right from that point there. To that point there. So that's the that's this curb base projected over to this one. I'll just do the same with this one. Give it a different colour, make it green, just so we can tell the difference. So I'll project that curb base over to here. And I'll project that curb base over to here. Alright, so I hope you can see what I'm trying to do here. So these red dash lines show this curb base protector over here and these green lines show this curb base project over here. So from top of curb base, top of curb base, the step, the, the amount of step we're actually going to create is 80 mil, as you can see. You can check that from the bottom, so the bottom of this to the bottom of that, it's 80 mil. So we're going to form an 80 mil step, and this is, this is how I work it out. The top of curb stays the same, and your construction stays the same. So, if I just go back to the road construction detail to explain it a bit further. So we're going to come across, we keep at the lower level and step up at the end of the day. So traditional construction all the way through this two meter ramp, ignore the block paving, but at this point here is where we change construction. So this is where you're going to change your travellers over and this is where you're going to change your dips over, which I talked about in the last video. So you're going to come along with your traditional construction and then you step up 80 mil and then change over dips and, and construction detail to meals here. So you can always put this on a nice on a nice drawing you know, and um, hand it out but that's how I like to work it out. So a 70 mil step there. It's not a 70 mil step, it's an 80 mil step. So we've just got to remember Top of this curb brace, projects it over, top of this curb brace, 80 mil difference, 80 mil step. So that's how I like to work out my ramp details. Um, I can go into a bit more detail if you want in the next video. I'll actually just show you how to get your levels from for top and bottom of uh, of ramp and that's, that's quite quick to explain. So for that you just go to your long section, rotate view, and on your long section it should tell you where a ramp is so if we just go to road six it says ramp here and it usually denotes it I'll just get rid of these lines it usually denotes where the ramp is so it's saying there's a ramp here and it tells you the levels of the center line there so these two thicker lines represent where the ramp is so if you just go to alignment level it says you 
tells you we have 178.338 that'll be the bottom of a ramp so the traditional so you can just that's set line level so just take off your falls either side and um, that shows the top level of your ramp but as you know I like to do it on CAD I like to do most things on CAD so if we just go to road set and out drawing this is from one of the first videos we did so this is a ramp detail here so what I'd do is I'd just yep block reference so I'd just copy that block over I'd put one there put one there put one there put one there and I'd probably just delete these middle ones to be honest with you delete them and I'd, I'd put a profile in as well but i just call this bottom of ramp bottom of ramp right and I'd work out the level if the level isn't shown on the long section here you can always go to the to the change beforehand and just work it out using a gradient so we, I'll show you on the long section so for example we could just go to you know oh, sorry. so if it didn't give you a level here like this one does you could always go back to chainage chainage 0 chainage 2.75 work out the distance between them because we can work out the distance on card here so we know that's we know that's chainage 5 here so we can go from chainage 5 and, and we know it's we know it's 4.3 meters up so from change 5, 4.3 meters up times by 1 in 80 or 1.25 percent and that'll tell you the level at that point there so I just put these points in here but my ramp so we've got the coordinates and we can just set it out first time and set these two levels out that's what I like to do that's where I change out over in construction so you definitely need a profile point in there could just always lengthen that one I'll stretch vertex so, well, to do that, I just go extend, extend to there, and that's your profile point now. Extend. That's where you're sticking your profiles there. So, yep. Yeah, so that's how I basically work out my um, my ramp detail, like that. 80 mil step. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks.